wide open space, mountainous landscape, exotic animals roaming freely. The picturesque scenery is the likes of an African postcard. But the Wild Conservation Park is far from the equator. It's near Zanesville, Ohio. Well, the Wilds was originally conceived as a conservation and research facility. And uh, along the way, it, it was decided that, gee, we should invite the public in to see the conservation, the science, and the research that we're doing here. And not only use that as an opportunity to let people know what's going on at the Wilds, but help people become more literate about conservation issues around the world and right here in their own backyards. Stretching over 10,000 acres, the wild is over 200 times the size of the average zoo. If you're expecting to see lions and tigers and bears, you might be disappointed. But if you want to come face to face with a southern white rhinoceros, Sichuan Takan, or an American bison, the wild is the place to be. I think that if people have expectations about seeing certain animals here, it's because they've come here without really knowing exactly what this place is. And if they think that they're coming to a zoo, they're going to be both surprised and shocked and in some cases maybe disappointed. If they're expecting to see animals up close, they may see them more up close than they've ever seen them in their life, but they also may see a whole herd of animals off on a, on a hill. So here it's much more of a, of a wildlife viewing experience than it is seeing captive animals in, in a display or in an exhibit or, or, or in a zoo. It's not going on safari in Africa, it's not going on a trek across the Himalayas, but it is something that is a next step towards that from the kind of experience they can have in their local zoo, in their local park, even in some, many cases their state and national park within their home region. We want to take it to the next step and we want it to be a learning experience. The tours, gift shop and cafe generate income, but the wilds is not a zoo or a theme park. It is first and foremost a conservation center dedicated to research that will benefit these endangered species. The conservation work and the research work at the wilds really falls into a couple of areas. First is restoration ecology. So we have a whole wide range of studies that are looking at uh, everything from soil microorganisms all the way up to innovative control strategies for invasive plants. How do we bring back uh, rare plants and put them into a habitat that encourages certain species like certain species of rare butterflies that come back? Uh, how do we build you know, large-scale prairies? Second area would be conservation medicine. This is about looking at health and disease from a really different perspective. It's about saying how does changing patterns in the environment result in changing patterns of disease. So a whole bunch of our research relates to those kind of things. And here we have this perfect laboratory, this giant disturbed landscape that we, can, that we know a huge amount about and we can begin to study how those patterns work. Reproductive research makes up a large portion of the work that's being done here. Even while we were there, scientists were conducting procedures that had never been done before. This is her uterine horn. Today what you saw was artificial insemination in the Chevalsky's horse, which is really exciting because uh, we're just starting to learn their reproductive physiology, what their cycles are like. Chevalsky's horses have not bred very well in captivity in uh, the last 10 years, and so the population is starting to age. So to try to rejuvenate this population, we'd like to bring some of the non-breeding mares back into the breeding population through artificial insemination. The wilds is, a, is an ideal setting for this sort of work because we have so much space and such a natural environment for the animals, and because our emphasis is more on conservation, education, and research than it is on maintaining a place for show. So not only does it make a good place for people to see real research going on, but the, the research is, is productive and is um, providing a lot of opportunity for the future. There's a whole range of educational tours, public tours, short tours, long tours, open air tours, there's a whole range of those things. But increasingly, our focus is going to be on having a smaller number of people here, relatively speaking, for much longer, much deeper, much more immersive experiences. Educational programming at the Wilds is really uniquely positioned to become really exciting and amazing experience here. And as education, we bridge that work to the public and to the world outside. So 
I think we have a really neat opportunity. Those programs are growing and we have a neat opportunity to tie into them and do a lot of programming that's very unique and geared toward the kind of work that we're doing at the wilds. The work that is being done at the wilds today will ensure a better future for the animals tomorrow. And the more these scientists learn, the more hopeful that future gets. Conservation research is important to all of us because it's amazing how little we know about our environment, even though there's a lot of study going on. We don't understand the reproductive physiology of a lot of species. We don't understand their environmental needs sometimes. We don't understand their social needs. And the more research that we can do to help these species out, the better we are at managing them and helping them uh, maintain populations for the future. I want my kids to grow up seeing the diversity of life in the world, and, you know, knowing what's here and what should be here. And a place like the wilds gives them a chance to experience that firsthand uh, through our camps, to be immersed in that, to come and see animals in, in natural settings. And also to know that by, by supporting um, our activities, by participating in our activities, that they're also contributing to uh, you know, conserving the world's wild animals and wild places.